They'll come out throwing here on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Back to Taylor on first down. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They did. Linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor, and they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. He pushes forward from maybe three down to the six-yard line. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? Touchdown, Dolphins! From six yards away. And the Dolphins are on the board here first in the season opener. A try here for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. to his running back, complete. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll 
drop to throw. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he wisely will throw that one away. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Come on, come on. Hey. Back to throw again. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. First red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. They'll go with a keeper. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. It's a quarterback sneak. And he takes it in for a cold score. It's their quarterback, scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Colts are an extra point away from drawing level. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. Oh, he's got some breathing. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jonathan.
75 yards. And the Dolphins have moved out in front. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Back to throw now on first down. Buying time to his left. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. He's going to float this over the middle deep. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Colts! There you go, Charles. His first touchdown pass of the new season. And he had a strong rookie year. So much more expected of him this one, as you might imagine. He threw that one with confidence and assuredness. And I noticed that the celebration a little bit more subdued than his first touchdown pass last year as a rookie. Yeah, he certainly is acting like he's done it before. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. That's throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It was Quiddy Pay who made the stop coming off the edge. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far... That's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Off the option, here's Taylor. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. They'll drop the throw. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. He'll look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there. 32 yards. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is now 21 14. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Yeah. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swimmer. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. In motion left is Beckham. Second and eleven. Trying to get it to Beckham, but it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. That, Charles, the first interception he's thrown here in year number two. And I know it's just the first one, but didn't it feel like what we saw from him last year when he's plagued by this type of a play? And they thought that, you know, over the offseason, going into a second season, some of that would go away. Thus far, still looks a lot like his rookie year. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And the Colts pick it up. The 40. He's at the 30. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy to get created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to, and everyone knows their role when they create a turnover like that. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. That's to Waddle on the quick slant. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jalen Waddle. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. 
He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Drop 50, drop 50. Riggs, Riggs. Nothing, my team. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got his big tight end here. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and it creates such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards remain on second down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going up top. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Colts are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. So they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you get five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows them. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we see both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Looking to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Beckham goes in motion left. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. The 
call it no gain there on the first down play. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Now left side on the swing pass. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Seventh play in the 25th coming on third and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Quick hitter to Jalen Waddle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. in the slot in motion left. He'll look to throw. He completes it to Beckham. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll set up a throw. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown from 19 yards away. And the Colts have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with it? That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he is going to lose yardage here. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point splits the uprights. And we are all tied at 28. the kicks away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he's only going to make it to the 13 yard line and no further the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive 
And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On second down, they'll run it here. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Back to throw here. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. midfield down to the 45. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give them a little bit of credit for fortitude there. Fourth and inches, and they don't run the football. Normally, just wedge your way through, fall forward, find the yardage. They took a shot and put it in the air, and it paid off. Maybe they saw the defense overcommitting. A lot of confidence there, though, because even if they overcommit, you just want to make sure you get the first down. You throw an incompletion on fourth down there, they're going to second guess you the rest of the game. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Back to throw again. 
It's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. We'll see if they can grab the lead. Either way, what a job their defense did to force the turnover on downs to set up this opportunity. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there. 59 yards. And the Dolphins strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. come to the line ready to start their next drive and now after the touchdown a moment ago they work from behind in a seven point game in this fourth quarter plenty of time on the clock now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete just week one but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten on play action they'll throw that's caught Waddle on the left side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They'll look to throw here on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So the deep ball giveth, and now the deep ball taketh away. And you get deep on me here. I like that. Going to the next level of what you're thinking. And when you think about all the success he's had throwing the football so far, sometimes when you're doing that, you think you're invincible out there. But he was given a cold dose of reality on that throw. And some room to run now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 129 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Dolphins. A great effort there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Dolphins are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They were moving the football, but then they threw that costly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kevin Farley, and the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. 
Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in the second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Colts are right back in this football game. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be in. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game, even with the two points there. But let's just say... Things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Come on, come on. Hey. Hey. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. This is caught inside the 15. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a big play there for Miami. 53 yards. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A great play there. With now three one touchdowns and the Dolphins are looking good here the season opener as they're able to extend their lead extra point splits the uprights and that pushes the lead up to 23 the kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away come to the line ready to start their next drive and they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener but this has just been a performance to me. and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today and the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Colts are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. In motion goes the tight end. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Second and 11. They'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off, Byron Jones. 
And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that's caught for the additional two points. It'll only matter to the final scoreline, and that is the final act of this game. Well, at least at the very end, there's something to take away. They lost the game, but got in the end zone, got a two-point conversion as well. I don't know, though. In the end, you, you still lost the football game. You still lost the game, but maybe it was just capitalizing on the flurry at the end, right? You scored the touchdown, keep the momentum going, go for two. Maybe they're working on something for down the road. As you said, it doesn't matter. You lose the game, but you finish for a touchdown and a successful two points. Some sort of a bit of a play. Yeah, something. So for Miami, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans.
alive in the dark And I keep getting stronger My limits the sky I do the impossible, impossible Shine if I want to See, it's two type of people in life. It's people that wake up and wish they had it. And it's people that wake up and go get it. We go get it, baby. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, and go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go get it, photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son. Go, go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Gang, gang. Up late, bills do, rent do, I ain't been asleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. Me. My city depended on me. That's on GOD. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. I ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Poor so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Tonight, we wrap up week 11 with a good Monday nighter between the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills.